Okay, let's take a look at an example of going from these large numbers of molecules or atoms and trying to figure out how many moles. So I'm going to start with question K here. And uh, question K gives me the number of, of molecules of water. So I'm actually going to bring that triangle down, the one that involves uh, molecules and, and moles. And I'm going to set it up the, the same way. Uh, that I did in the previous one, where I've been given this time the number of molecules times 10 to the 24. That's not a very good 4, there you go. 1.2 times 10 to the 24, and it's asking me how many moles. I know that Avogadro's number doesn't change, it's times 10 to the 23. <clears throat> uh, and this one here, this question, because it's asking molecules, that's okay, I'm not going to have to do, make any changes to this number because remember up here, this is uh, this spot is the number of molecules. If it, is, it was asking atoms, like in the next one, we're going to have to make a change to that. But, um, because I have molecules, I just wrote it up here. This line means divided by, so I'm going to take 1.2 times 10 to the 24th and divide by this number. That will give me uh, moles of water. So I'll do that in the calculator, 1.2 uh, times 10 to the 24th divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and I get 1.99 moles. Of water. Let's take a look at question L. And this time they've given us, instead of molecules, they've given us atoms. So I'm just going to slide this stuff out of the way here. Actually, maybe I'll, that's going to make a big mess, so let's erase that. Okay. Okay, I almost got it. There. Okay, this time they're not giving us molecules. They've given us the number of atoms. So we need to look at this compound, calcium chloride. Calcium, there's one calcium, and there are two chlorines. For a total of three atoms per molecule. So the first thing we need to do is take our take our number, 6.44 times 10 to the 23rd and divide it by 3 because there are 3 <laughs> atoms uh, per molecule. That way we can then put that number and we weren't given the number of molecules this time, we were given atoms. So let's do that first. Let's take 6.44 uh, exponent 23 I'm going to divide that by 3 we get 2.147 times 10 to the 23. That's how many molecules I have of CaCO2. Okay. Uh, now, now we should be able to let me just create so now I can draw my triangle here and uh, come up with an answer. Okay, so we have 2.147 times 10 to the 23. And I don't know Avogadro's number, it doesn't change. If I now take my number of molecules and I divide it by Avogadro's number, it will give me moles. Well, let's do that. I'm gonna. I kept my number in the calculator. I didn't erase it. So all I need to do is press divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23. I get 0 0.357. 0 0.357 moles of calcium chloride. So the atoms one is a bit trickier because you need to do this, figure out how many atoms are in a molecule and calculate it. 
but it's not too bad once you get the hang of it. Okay, the next, uh, the last video I'll probably show will be multi-step conversions, going from grams to atoms, or atoms to grams, so, um, oh, and actually I forgot, there's the volume question, so we'll do, maybe we'll do the volume first, then we'll get to multi-step conversions. Hang in there.